Sinfest Friends 24. I'm here on the booth of Live or One L1 V3 with Pascal. How are you? Very fine and you? Thank, fine. Thanks. Third day and I found a very interesting MIDI box. It's not yet out, but uh, maybe let's um, explain a bit what is your the new box or what's the name of it of the, of the, of the It is called uh, the same name of the, it is called Life, yeah, Life box we, we can say. Mm -hmm. So the the principle of this box is to control absolutely have full control of the MIDI coming in. So you've got today five entries, and the last version we have a USB host, uh, and everything between those entries and the outputs, you can control them um, like crazy. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you plug this box to the computer, you have this website, uh, this web interface uh, for it to be configured. But at the end, when you finish configuring it, it's completely standalone. Okay. Okay? So here, you have a representation over there uh, of the five entries, and you can configure the basic the default uh, behavior, mm -hmm. so you want to block and filter the clock, uh, so very the basic, basic stuff. The basic stuff, yeah. Yeah, and here, what will be the, the forward, the transfer of the, the signal by default? Mm -hmm. So here, you can see, uh, I'm ma manipulating a, a, a controller here, mm -hmm. and I can see live uh, what's going on, in fact, okay. okay? So this is the basic stuff. What's come to be interesting is that you can have presets that uh, was made by me or the community. Okay. And uh, you simply have to take those presets, put it in the path, and right now, it doesn't go through because I didn't explain what would be the condition to be true for it to be activated. So I simply have to click on this learn button, moving a feather, it will write the code for you. Okay. So here, if it's a control change of value 11, then, the, this preset will activate it. And this one, particularly, is getting one value and reverse it okay. as a demo, okay? Every preset is open source, so you can access the code and write the code on your own. I know that not everyone can be able to code, but you have this ability and also a lot of help if you want to, uh, if you don't know how to code, you can, for example, here have a MIDI learn coding directly inside the system, uh, auto-completion, et cetera, et cetera. So, and it's a web-based uh, interface. It's not now a software. Or so it's yeah, it's web-based. So uh, you don't need to be connected on the internet to access it. Uh, but if you have internet, you can have access to the uh, preset of the community, of course. So it's hosted from the hardware, probably. Yeah, exactly. So let me show you um, a most, um, more advanced example. Here, I represented graphically the tracks of this controller controlling the octa track. So here, I can, for example, show the volume of my track. I can arm multiple tracks. And now, if I move a, a, the crossfader, it will send multiple messages to multiple tracks once. So I kind of recreated the scene mechanism of the Octa track, but for MIDI. And there's no delay also. It's, uh, no delay. Uh, you have a delay on the interface because uh, we are in a very bad condition over there in SendFest. Okay. But uh, no, of course, uh, the, the, the box is, yeah, no delay. So the, yeah, this is an example of what you can do uh, using a, a very little bit of line of code. I mean, uh, as you can see here, uh, the, the code is very, very short. And what is now the main difference to the, the other boxes that, that can do this? I would say uh, I could compare with the MIDI hub of Blockus. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of similarities. The only thing I would say is um, um, all the presets are open, so if you want to take them and update them, you can also. Um, I can deal with uh, CZX, uh, Blockers MIDI Hub uh, account today. Uh, I would say basically this is the, the, the only difference. Um, 
But and yeah. on the feature side, it has uh, the same MIDI, um, let's say, functions or filters and so on. Yeah, so ba basic features like filters, blocking and uh, rerouting, uh, basically, of course. But uh, also you, can, uh, you could, for example, uh, detect a note change uh, with a special uh, poly after touch value and then decide to send program change based on that, etc. Also uh, splitting, stacking. Splitting, so, yeah. stacking and uh, yeah, All that stuff. no limits. Okay. How, uh, where is now the development of this? Is it in beta? It's in beta. So um, uh, I officially announced this box in uh, Superbooth la last year. Uh, I'm getting feedbacks of people, in, like in the Sunfest, to see if it's um, relevant, if it's okay uh, on its own. Um, and then uh, I will launch it when I'm confident that it is uh, sufficiently stable, because now it's kind of central in a setup, and you don't want uh, to have uh, centrally something that crash. Yeah. So yeah, stabilization first, and then I will launch it. So uh, expect to release this year? Yeah, I would say by the end of the year, but uh, if I'm not confident in the uh, stable stuff, uh, I prefer to wait uh, next year. Do you have already a price direction or a price point? Or? Uh, for now, I think I believe it will be between 200 and 300 euros, not more. Okay. And it comes, to, it's, it's a box and it hosts the software, the, this web interface. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Pascal. Thank you. And hope you uh, enjoy the last day of Synfest 24. I will try. And big thanks and hope Have to see nice you again one. in the next video. Bye.